Today we're going to talk about the stages of inflammation. Inflammation is the body's natural response to an injury. The injury can be a result of a physical trauma, a bacterial or viral infection, or a heat or chemical injury. Injury causes damage to cells and bleeding, and bleeding initiates a cascade of inflammatory response in the body. Phase one is the inflammatory response. This phase lasts three to five days. During this time, the body is going through a vascular response in which it is bringing blood flow to the affected area. This increase in blood flow removes damaged cells and replaces them with new collagen. Pain, warmth, swelling, and limited range of motion are usually present during this phase. The goals of treatment during phase one are to decrease the pain and swelling, prevent chronic inflammation, and maintain mobility of surrounding joints. Phase two is called repair and regeneration. During this phase, new fibers of collagen are being laid down in a disorganized fashion. Scar tissue will form with easily breakable bonds. The swelling and warmth will decrease, but pain with tissue stretch is often present. Goals of treatment during this phase are range of motion, joint and scar mobilization, and the use of light loads to promote tissue remodeling. Phase three of the inflammatory process is called remodeling and maturation. During this phase, those collagen fibers are becoming more organized. Notably improved range of motion and strength is present. This phase can take months to up to a year to complete. The goals of treatment during this phase are stretching, active contraction, and resistive loads. Key takeaways, be sure to tailor your treatment to the corresponding phase of inflammation. Note that the entire inflammatory process can take up to a year to complete. Maintenance of joint mobility throughout the entire inflammatory process is integral to complete recovery. Be sure to educate your patient on what they should and shouldn't do to promote healing.